Hi, this is Mrs. LaBarbera. This is AP Physics Chapter 2, Video 9. Today's topic is Velocity and Position by Integration Part 2. The objectives for today is to know the rules of integral and to be able to apply these rules to solve kinematic problems. The first rule and the most used rule is backward power rule. So we know from derivatives d uh, over dt over t to the power of n plus 1, that derivative is n plus 1 times t to the n. Now the, back, uh, the backward power rule is what is the original function that its derivative is t to the n? And this is the general form. So it's 1 over n plus 1 times t n plus 1. As you can see in this equation, n cannot be uh, negative 1 because if n is negative 1, the first term will be 1 over 0. That is invalid expression. Let's use that rule to find position function with given velocity functions. First one, velocity is t squared. What is the corresponding position function? So in this uh, uh, function, n equals to 2 because it's t to the 2. So we plug into the equation x, remember xt minus x at 0 uh, equals to the integral of v dt, right? Integral of v dt that equals to change in displacement. We plug this in a equals to 2, 2 plus 1 on the bottom. Here's 1t, 2 plus 1. So that equals to 1 third t to the power of 3. So xt is just 1 third t to the power of 3 plus x0. So this is a general function of a position as a function of time. Next, 1vt equals to t to the negative 2. So in this case, t equals to negative 2. Again, plug into the equation. You should get negative t to the negative 1 plus x uh, at t equals to 0. So sometimes we can uh, you write down x not. That's the same thing as x when t equals to 0. Last one, vt equals to 1. So a lot of times, this is pretty common. So you shouldn't know right away. In that case, n equals to 0. So the original function will give this derivative is just t. So xt equals to t plus, again, x at t equals to 0. Another rule is addition subtraction rule and constant multiplier rule. Addition subtraction means when you have two functions, adding or subtracting, you have to do the whole thing, the integral for the whole thing. That equals to the integral of separate functions, the integral of the first plus or minus integral of second. The constant multiplier rule is if you have a constant such as 3 or 5 or 12 multiply by a function, you can factor it out, then just into integrate the function. For example, here is vt equals 15x squared minus 16t plus 4. How do you integrate this? So this looks like the multiply, uh, addition and subtraction first. So then we also have multipliers 15 and 14 and 4. So xt minus x at 0 equals to 15. The original function whose derivative is t to the 2 is 1 over 3t to the 3rd. So you can also use, in this case, n equals to 2, so 1 over 2 plus 1, t, 2 plus 1. That's how you get 1 third, t, to the third. And the second one, uh, this t, n equals to 1, n equals to 1 is 1 over 1 plus 1, it gives you 2. And over here is 1 plus 1 gives you 2. And over here, t equals to, I mean, n equals to 0, because anything to the 0 equals to 1. So the original function is just 4t. So you simplify it. You have 5 times t to the third minus 8t squared plus 4t. To solve for xt, you simply move the x at uh, t equals to 0 to the other side. Common derivatives and the integrals, they are in your reference table. So when you are coming up a uh, 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 question, you don't know the derivatives, you haven't seen in these videos, look at your reference table, such as sine, cosine, and the logs. 
Let's take a look at this example. So Sally is driving along a straight highway in her classic 1965 uh, Mustang. At a time t equals zero, when Sally is moving at 10 meters per second in the positive direction. So she passes a signpost at x equals to 50 meters. Her acceleration is a function of time. So we're given the initial velocity and the initial position. In this case, none of them are zero. Initial velocity is 10, initial position is 50. Find her x velocity and the position as a function of time. Her velocity as a time is the in integral of a dt. So vt equals to a uh, from zero to t, a dt plus the initial velocity. So after you uh, integrate it, this is just 2t, right? Minus 0 0.10 times 1 half t squared. That becomes this. And the initial velocity is 10. So over here, I simply added the units. To find position function, um, you'll have to integrate velocity with time. So plug the velocity expression into here, so you integrate this. This uh, in integral is t squared. This part is 0.05 divided by 3 times t cubed. This becomes 10t. Right? Then the initial position is 50. So this is the result with the uh, units. Why is her x velocity the greatest? x velocity is greatest when <coughs> acceleration is the minimum. Remember the greatest, you have that peak, so the slope has to be zero. So acceleration has to be zero. So you said acceleration equals to zero, you solve for t. t equals to 20 second. Next question is, what is the maximum velocity? Maximum velocity is velocity at 20 seconds. So you simply plug t equals to 20 into this velocity expression, and you will get 30 meters per second. Where is the car when it reaches the maximum velocity? To find the position, you simply plug in t equals to 20 second into position function, which is this one, xt equals to t squared minus 0.05 divided by 3t cubed, and so forth. So you plug t equals to 20, you should have 570 meters. Now let's take a look at that question. So this is acceleration versus time, velocity versus time, and position versus time graphs. So acceleration, A is proportional to negative 0.1t. So A have a big value. A is positive until t equals to 20. At this point, acceleration equals to zero. You see at this point corresponding to maximum velocity because at this point, the slope of velocity equals to zero. After t equals to 20, acceleration becomes negative. So after t equals to 20, the slope of vt becomes negative. And before 20, slope of the vt is positive. Take a look at xt. So before 20, acceleration is positive. So it should the curve should curve upward. After 20, the curve should go downward. Now let's take a look at the next example. <clears throat> uh, find Vx and x as a function of time in the case in which acceleration is constant. So in both equations, uh, in the top equation, acceleration is constant. So you find that Vx. Acceleration is constant. You use the multiplier rule. You factoring acceleration out. So the integral of dt is just t. So your answer is vx equals v not x plus axt. This is the equation for constant acceleration. How to find velocity when acceleration is constant. Now, how do you find the position versus t? You simply plug into what is vx? vx is v not x plus ax times t. So you plug this vx in here, and then you integrate it. Remember addition rule? You just integrate the v not x first, then you integrate axt. So the v not x, this is constant. That's the initial velocity. You can factor it out, and this is the result you'll have. You integrate dt 
inter integration of dt is just t. You factoring a out, integration of, of t dt is 1 half t squared. So after you simplify, this is the expression you should have. x equals to x naught plus v naught xt plus 1 half axt squared. This is the equation you were given in the, uh, in the section when acceleration is constant. Here is the uh, check your understanding question. So if the x acceleration ax is increasing with time, will the vxt graph be straight line, concave up or concave down? Let's see, acceleration is the slope of vt graph. So if acceleration is increasing, slope has to increase. If the slope is increasing, the graph has to uh, go up. So it has to curve up, concave up. So that is the answer. Take a look at another example. So an object initially at that point, v0 equals to 0, experience a time varying acceleration a equals to 2 times t. How far does the object travel in first three seconds? This one did not tell you its initial position, but you don't have to know because this one is asking you the displacement. So here is v equals v0 plus a d, uh, into the integral of a dt and v equals v0 plus uh, a equals 2t uh, dt. V0 is 0, so V as a function of t is V equals to t squared. Now you have to find position function. Position function x equals x0 V dt. So what is V? V is t squared. x0 we don't know, which is doesn't matter, just leave it. x0 plus the integral of t squared dt is 1 third t cubed. So how do you find the displacement between x3 and x at 0? x at 0 is actually x0. So x at 3 is x0 plus 9. So x0 is x0. So the displacement between 3 seconds and 0 seconds is 9 meters. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.